Hello, my name's Boz Boy and I play guitar for Morrissey. How do I go about writing songs and riffs? Uh, usually, I'd start off with a drum beat and work out a chord sequence, usually on an acoustic or an electric. And after I build the track up with some bass and maybe some uh, pad keyboards, I'll find a riff that fits over the top that ties it all together. Um, not always, sometimes I come up with a riff first, but that's normally if it's a chord bass riff. Um. Which is chord based. Uh, mostly the other riffs, that they, I tie over the whole song. Uh, there'll be a riff that fits over it. There's a song called um, Alma Matters, and the chord sequence changes, but the, the riff over the top of it always. The first time I ever saw a boss pedal. I can remember we had the little MOSFET amp, which was, uh, had a little speaker in it, and we'd use that backstage. But it also had an output, and then when we plugged it to the amp, it was like a massive mental um, distortion pedal. That's the first one I can remember. I can remember the first one I had in, as I used it. I had uh, several delays and compressors. And then about 25 years ago, I went on the hunt for all the rare, desirable ones. I was on tour, so it was quite easy to go hunting. And I built, built up quite an arsenal. I don't have them all now, but I've still got lots of them and I quite enjoy them. My top three tips for a young guitarist. Play with as many different people and learn as many different styles as you can. It's all connected music and uh, it broadens your horizons and makes uh, uh, your ideas arsenal much bigger. Um, change your strings more often. Uh, often I pick up someone's guitar and the strings are just old and craggy. They'll never stay in tune. And look after your instrument, clean it. Give it a nice polish. They do respond to being looked after. I've got some old acoustics that are lovely that I never really use much. And I get them out and they feel and look a bit sorry, but when you clean them and polish them, get a new set of strings on them, they come to life and they're wonderful. So how do I keep myself busy when I'm on the road? Uh, I have a record shop in Camden called Vinyl Boutique and I'm always looking for stock uh, as I travel the world. And there's a, I have an app on my phone called Vinyl District and it tells me where all the record shops are. So it's one of the main things I do. And uh, the other is um, um, I drink quite a lot. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <clears throat> but there's always a bar and there's always a restaurant. I don't know if there's any third thing. I don't really look for instruments anymore. So it's basically records and, uh, and bars, really. So the top three tunes in my record collection that I would return to time and time again. Um, there would have to be a T-Rex song because that's the main reason I play guitar. And I would probably say Get It On because um, it's quite long and it's quite um, honest and uh, it was the first T-Rex song I bought. Uh, there would have to be some punk rock in there, so probably something off the screen by Susan the Banshees. Maybe uh, Suburban Relapse or something that's very harsh. And then something that was rockabilly. Um, um, maybe Shorty the Barber by Lou Millet. It's, got a, it's a great country song, but it was recorded so distorted that it um, almost sounds like heavy metal. So those three songs I'd be happy to listen to all day.